Febreze, the famous odour remover. I used to use this crap back in the days when I had no clue about health and other things. I remember being in my young 20s going night clubbing in the winter on Friday nights after work. And on Saturday nights I put on the same jacket, and since I only had one of them, so I'd literally coat it with Febreze to remove the cigarette and nightclub stench. Today there would be no way I would go anywhere near Febreze. I was fooled back then into thinking it removed odours, but instead it just masks them by covering them with a toxic slew of chemicals, including some big words, dialkyl sulfur salchinates, benzesocyozolononon, cyclodextrin and sodium polacrylate. So you breathe in the chemicals instead of smelling the odours. It's just what's listed on the label as the manufacturers of Febreze, Procter & Gamble failed to disclose many of the ingredients on the labels. Testing by the Environmental Working Group found that it contained some more big names, acetylaldehyde, ethyl acetate, BHT, propylene glycol, 1,3-dichloro-2-propanol and many more. In fact, they found it contained 87 ingredients. It's too many to cover them all, but to outline how bad they are, if you dump some of these chemicals in the environment, you'll face criminal charges. But somehow, you can sell them in a bottle and spray them around the environment. These chemicals have been shown to cause cancer, neurotoxicity, allergies, asthma, skin disorders, lung disease, hormone disruption, immune system toxicity, reproductive problems, endocrine system damage, and the loss of vision. Yeah, they're pretty bad. In short, this product should not be allowed to be sold. It needs to be banned. People can feel the toxic effects immediately, as can animals. Go to Amazon.com, check out the reviews for all the Febreze products. There are so many people who experience dangerous reactions to this chemical soup. These are the fortunate ones, because they can throw it in the bin. Others who don't get visible reactions continue to use Febreze and the chemicals I mentioned before accumulate in the body until they develop serious medical conditions. The best advice I can give you is to stop using Febreze. For safe and effective odour solutions, please visit my website at healthglade.com. Hi, this is Adam from Healthglade. If you enjoyed this video and want more health related content that you won't hear anywhere else, please follow our social media channels. But our content is highly controversial and Big Brother often takes down our pages. So also join our mailing list at healthglade.com and when it happens we'll email you links to the new ones. Our videos are not copyrighted so you can help by downloading them and re-uploading to your channels. Thanks for watching and if you know anyone who will benefit from this content, please drop a like and share it with them.